In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, work with audio files. Specifically, we have a customer who needs to have a precise count in for an audio backing track. He needs to have exactly six seconds that he can calculate before he has to start playing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with one of his files to show how to adjust the silence in front of a file to make sure that we have precisely six seconds in front of it. So let's go ahead. I actually have Audacity already open. I'm going to open up a file that uh, he sent over and we're going to see how it works over here. You can take the file, click and drag it. Audacity will read most audio file formats. It's an open source audio editing program. Fantastic. And here you can see this little graphic over here. These blue squiggles are actually the, uh, what, the visualization of the sound file. Uh, the larger the squiggle, the louder the sound, the smaller, the softer, and so on and so forth. Okay, So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to click on this beginning area over here, and I'm going to zoom in with this plus button over here. So we can get a closer look at the precise time in which the sound starts. Now you can hear, see over here on top there's a timeline for seconds. The second second mark is over here, but as you can see, the sound file has started already a little bit before the six second mark and that's just not precise enough for what this person needs. He needs to have it start exactly at the six second mark. As you can see we can really zoom in really to the sample level if you want to, the individual samples. Okay, let's zoom out. I don't think we quite need that level of precision. But let's just go ahead and just move the marker over here by clicking on it. Okay, And what I'm going to do is to make sure I have the precise amount of seconds. I'm going to just go ahead and just delete all of this time ahead of the sound file. Okay, What I can do is I can move my mouse and just move it until you see this little the uh, the the cursor will turn into a finger pointing to the left over here. Okay, And what I'll do is I'll click my mouse keep the mouse held down with the left mouse button and drag this all the way over here to the very beginning of the audio file. Okay, as you can see, this grayed out area shows me what uh, section of the audio file I've selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit, and let's go ahead and cut over here. Okay, and now what I've done is I've just basically eliminated the imprecise number of uh, seconds in front of that sound file. It's, it's, it's set to start exactly uh, at the very, very beginning. What we're going to do over here is we're going to generate silence by going over to the top menu, clicking on Generate, and then moving down to silence over here. And here at this point I can give it a precise measurement in terms of how many seconds I want to enter in front of the sound file. So let's go ahead, right now it's set to uh, 30 seconds over here. Let's go ahead and change that to 6 seconds. Let's move it over to this over here. And there we go. As you can see now, let's go ahead and zoom just to show you how precise this is. Oops, a little too far over here. I'm going to navigate over here. I'll move, sorry, and I will move my cursor right at this six second mark over here, a little close to that. Zoom in. As you can see now, I have precisely six seconds of silence before that sound file starts. Okay? So if you'd like, uh, this is how you can insert your silence. Let's go ahead and I'm going to save this. Go to File. Let's actually export this whole sound file. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this Spring Second Movement Six Second Start. All right, and I'm going to export this as an MP3 file. You can export it as many different file formats as you can see, but let's go ahead and export this as, as an MP3 file. It's going to go to my Documents folder over here. You can add various values if you want. This is not absolutely important but if you want to you can add these track values which will be useful in some programs that if you need to identify that you can add, change all these values here but let's go ahead and click OK just to speed up our illustration and after it's going to take a few seconds to export this file and then you'll be able to find it in the folder which you indicated where you want your files to be so that's a quick look at using the editing features of Audacity the open source audio editing program which is available for Mac PC and Linux computers to adjust the amount of silence precisely at the beginning of a sound file.